It's time for a Napa track fact with Gary Gentrum. We started out by having regular wheels with inner tubes in it. Then we finally went to a beadlock tire where we bolt the tire onto the wheel. But since that time, the tires have gotten bigger. The stress on them is harder. The wheel hangs out about 10 to 12 inches to one side. What we're trying to do with this tire, Champion Wheels designed an inner piece that we put inside of their wheel that triangulates between the hub, the bolts to the axle with the five big lug studs to all of these nuts and bolts that hold on the beadlock out here. The idea is we put a triangle in there to stiffen up the outer side of the wheel. Hopefully be able to make the car not shake as bad, or if it does, to not continue to shake as bad, because we've stabilized the wheel on the outside instead of allowing this big tube to flex out here. Well, the tire shake's always a big issue in these cars, isn't it, Snake? Yeah, and I, uh, I hate to tell him, but that's not the reason they shake, I don't think. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, it's got something to do with the clutch and a lot of other things. And the tune-up, right? And the tune-up. Yeah, the tune <laughs> There's a whole list of things. Speaking of Gary Dentrum, he is on the line now against Mike Neff, who won his first career race as a chief here in 03. Oh, oh well, and Neff and so. Dentrum goes on and takes the win. Wow. Shocker and look for at that you. run. Yeah. That was oh. a nice pass. How about a, yeah, 415. Ditchum's bad, man. Now, oh. wait a minute. Did one of us say that he didn't know what he was talking about? Oh, well, <laughs> when, when, when it comes to wheels. Okay. But he knows what he's talking about behind the wheel. <laughs> but take a look at Mike Neff. I mean, he didn't have lane choice, so he obviously he was struggling coming into this. And yeah. right there, spins the tires. He backpedals it. It backfires the supercharger. <laughs> The poise of parachutes. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, and Dentium. Look at him. The school teacher. How old is the guy now? He's got to be he's, 50 I, he's, something. Oh, he's almost old. 60 now? Yeah. Come on. I didn't want to say that. 63. There you Four. go. Hey, how about that? That brings a man back to life. <laughs> That's going to Gary Gerald. We stand by with screw him. member. We stand by with Matt Hagen here, guys. How tough is this to swallow two weeks in a row with some real tough fortune? You know, that's a tough race. I mean, you know, you call it a whole shot, call it whatever. You look at the 60 foot, it tells the time. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. You know, uh, I, I hate it. It kills me inside. But uh, we just, we, we, you know, I, I was a little guest late or whatever you want to call it. Or we didn't have a quick enough car. Like I said, the 60 foot say what's going on in there. With it, with the lights and whatnot, but no excuses. We we'll get back out here and uh, and dig deep, and hopefully we can get some round wins. Thanks, Matt. Let's take a look at the Lucas Oil ladder now with Funny Car complete and the way we will see it when we look ahead. John Forrest, you just saw that run. Has Gary Dentrum, Paul Lee, and Tim Wilkerson. Lee is looking for his first semifinal of his career. Other side of the ladder, great matchups. Robert High will have lane choice over Cruz Pedregon, and then the teammates run it. Caps and Johnny Gray. Johnny will have lane choice in that matchup. Well, how about all the extra help that we got? Really expert advice. Snake, thanks, thanks. a lot for yeah, coming great in here, buddy. Great thanks, being here. Thanks, guys. And now let's it. send you up to the top end and Gary Gerald. With Gary Dencham, who is pulling the helmet off here. We don't get a chance to see old Dench very often, but my goodness, his presence is always felt. The latest victim, of course, is Mike Neff. You give us an idea of how satisfying it is to be a part-timer in your advancing years and come out here and win around like that. Well, I'll tell you, you know, I mean, my guys are the greatest in drag racing. Wish we got to race more often. I mean, we're off four months, come out, qualify in the top half. What's the reward? We get Mike Neff, the points leader. But, you know, obviously these cars are all great and anybody can win. And, and I got a great team. And thanks to John Lawson or Lawson Rock and Oil, that, you know, we get to come out a few races a year and uh, let them know that we're still alive and we know how to do this. Good to see you, Dench. Thank you. Hey, Dench, hang hey. on. Leo wants to get Gary Dench, and now we take you back into the Larry Dixon pits. When he comes up and stages the next time, he will clinch a position in the countdown to the championship. He will face Terry McMillan, who is currently 11th. He needs to give above that line. He needs some wins. 